This here is a MEP 806 Alpha 60K generator. These generators power things like motor pools and things of that nature. You have your terminal. Today is a special day for Sergeant Lewis, a power generator equipment repairer, and Private Muhammad. Yeah, I drive these trucks. A motor transport operator. Both are deployed in Afghanistan, part of Combined Task Force Dragoon. I've never been in a situation in my career that, to where I've seen an actual place to where we can go. Like, you know, soldiers have churches and they have all different types of denominations, but actually having a, like an Islamic center is actually pretty exciting. I'm excited to go. I've never seen one in my career, and I think it's awesome that they're actually finally doing it. Sergeant Lewis and Private Muhammad are Muslim Americans, and today for the first time they are being introduced to the Islamic Center on Kandahar Airfield, Afghanistan. Considering we have people from different backgrounds and faith groups, it would be logical to note that we would also have uh, soldiers from the um, uh, Islamic tradition. And those Muslim soldiers are afforded the same free exercise of religion as anyone else. And one of the ways in which we provide that in the Army is through uh, religious materials and uh, accommodation of their religious practices. Uh, we advise commanders uh, when there may be upcoming holidays, uh, particularly, for example, uh, Ramadan, as we refer to it in Afghanistan, commonly known as Ramadan. <laughs> I knew, I, I've seen you a thousand times, but I never knew. And I've seen you once or twice, but of course we never know. But I'm now I see you guys and I really truly know that at least there's two other people on this entire file. <laughs> that filled my pain. Yes. That filled my pain. So I'm good. I'm, I'm enjoying it right now. It's awesome. Like, we're all brothers at the end of the day. And to be closer to another brother that has the same religion and also background is... It really, it really feels good. All right, that describes Sergeant Blevins, who found Islam while deployed in Iraq in 2007, welcomes Sergeant Lewis and Private Muhammad and recalls his first time in the Islamic Center. I was walking on cloud nine. It, it really made my day because I was convinced that like Iraq, this is going to be a very lonely time for me. It was going to be a lonely Ramadan. It was going to be a lonely year. I'd be worshiping by myself. So when I found out that CAF has an Islamic center that's open to everybody, and then I came in here and received the welcome that I did, it's a blessing. If you are a soldier in the U.S. Army and you're a Muslim, you have no reason to be ashamed, and you have no reason to hide. We're here to make this place, God willing, better. We're here to do a mission to help people. Keep that intention in your heart and keep that in your mind. And come and worship with your brothers. Come and worship with your brothers and sisters. You don't need to hide. You don't need to be afraid to say, I'm an American, I'm a soldier, and I'm a Muslim. Wow. I'm Army Staff Sergeant Jose Ibarra, Kandahar Airfield, Afghanistan. Wow, amazing. This is first time I'm coming across, you know, American soldiers who are Muslims and them giving their experience on how Islam has actually changed their lives. And the fact that back then there was no Islam center and they were always wishing to have something like that, such. They were always wishing to have such, you know, center. And another Muslim brother, Soja, invited them. And I love the way they all marry. There was love, unity, calmness, you know, respect. Everything was there. And one of the soldiers actually drew my attention when he was praying, when he was praying doing his Quran recitation. And I was mind blown that, wow, even with with the you know soldiers are always busy even from their busy schedule they still have time to praise god to pray to allah that was a beautiful one i love the last statement this guy made he said be proud to be an american soldier and as a muslim you know we all know back in those days i think muslim were not really being allowed to exercise their 
faith in that country but as a soldier it's something that i find it so weird and rare and that was a beautiful one i really enjoyed this i love the way they all pray together and the fact that people were not even scared to pray with them because if it was another you know religion or so or another gathering people would be scared that i hope this will not come and arm us because of their own uniform but one thing i love about islam is that you are equal in the sight of god irrespective of your you know profession when it's time to pray everybody concentrate there's no distraction of any kind there's nothing that will distract you from praying or make you scared as long as you've entered the presence of god just do your prayer and that is it that was a beautiful experience a story and those things that they invented to was amazing i love those machines uh that was a beautiful one guys let me know your thoughts i'll see you guys in the next one